I was doing the book, who's the president of the New York Fed, and he says, you know, when he has a crisis, what does he do? He calls up the heads of the 14 largest financial institutions and gets them together, and just as an example, are built to operate on a global basis. Exxon has operations in a country, has embassies in 80 countries. Sweden can vote for the Kyoto Accords. Exxon can kill the Kyoto on a, on a, on a daily basis. About 10,000 hedge funds, the top 300 side of the sort of the most influential of those, which is why Blank Fine at, at Goldman Sachs refers to the group as the 14 families. It's the 14 families. It's the 14 families. After time, as transnational issues have emerged, countries aren't in a particularly good place to manage them. I'm not saying markets are bad. I'm a pro-markets guy. Well, that's efficient. And now you have to say, you know, are you are you comfortable with this? Are you are you comfortable with this? Are you are you comfortable with this? And everybody can come to their own conclusions. Have consequences in terms of tension and in terms of potential instability and backlash and backlash and backlash. And typically, another elite rises up and says, "I'll never represent the people. I'll never represent the people. I'll never represent the people." With uh, Reverend Farrakhan, with with uh, Reverend Farrakhan, with with uh, Reverend Farrakhan, with with. Uh... Hit me with music. Hit me with music. Um, but 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 we're at a new point because that's always happened, and the constraints that could be thrown over. The, the robber barons of the late 19th century through trust busters. You think trust busters. You think trust busters. You think. Go straight home, have good night, and thank you very much.